Welcome back, guys. This is the latest update of our 41-way ceramic coatings and sealants longevity test. This being update number 13, or the 11th month mark, we're almost at a year. As has been the case with other updates this month, we've had an insane amount of pollen along with a lot of rain. The last 30 days weather, as well as the lifetime weather that this hood has seen is on your screen here. If you would like to support the channel, all you need to do is hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below if there's any of these products you've used or if you have any experience with them, how long they've lasted for you, and so on. So if you're just joining us, please be sure to check out the entire series of each of these videos as there's a ton of work that goes into the research, prep, install, and continued testing of these. So as usual, we will foam it down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it with an Australian sheep's wool wash mitt, and then of course rinse to inspect the hydrophobic properties before we dry everything off. So with that out of the way, let's see how things are holding up. First up, C-Quartz Finest Reserve versus Professional. Both of those infrared cured, and I know C-Quartz has had some issues with some of their professional products in recent times. Both of these are 2021 batches, and uh, Maybe the Sea Quartz Finest Reserve is one of the ones that we got that isn't living up to it, but it's uh, it's weak. We're gonna mark it meat weak. DPC T3 and T9, both of those look like they're hanging in there. Still pretty hydrophobic. More so 9H than the T9 than the T3, but they're both still doing all right. Apex Metal Oxide Coating by Art to Shine. Looks like it's hanging in there as well. Nanoskin Ultra T1 and T3 Pro. Both of these are, they've been acting like this for quite some time now. So we're gonna leave them weak, but I don't think they're quite failed yet. Very close, but not quite there. Maybe we'll get a year out of them. NGNT, all of their products here, Pro 1K barely hanging in there along with pro 1k plus still looking good avalon king looks like it's starting to get sort of worse for wear nano age nano bond still very hydrophobic that's our cheap chinese coating and warijin 10h looking pretty worse for wear Gion can coat, that's gonna be our first failure this month. Made it to the 11 month mark. The hydrophobics on that were extremely strong up until around the six month mark and then they started to fade. But still pretty impressive for a store bought or you know online bought product that anybody can install. Drive Auto Nano 9H, looking like it's got some wear on it but not to where we would call it weak yet. Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating. It's been a pretty impressive product so far. Looks like it's still hanging in there, but it's got some wear on it. And new finish ceramic coating. Yeah, there's a little bit, I don't know. That's That one's pretty close. We, we may mark that one failed because there's not a whole lot left there. Underdog Sauce Pro, looks like it's doing all right. Glosset 10H, which is a professional only product, next to their Glosset 5H, which is not a professional only product. NGNT Pro 2K, looks like it's doing all right. Multiple layer coating. NGNT Pro 3K, that's their flagship coating, very hydrophobic. And Griot's 3 in 1 SiO2, it is weak, getting very close. I think in previous tests, we get somewhere around a year out of it. Looks like it's no different now. G-Technic Ultra, doing all right. That's the professional only product. IGL Premier, that is rated as a six month sealant. It's getting weak. Owner's Pride, very, very close to failing. Not quite there, but very close. ECP Tech 580 and Speed Wipe are very similar product to Owner's Pride. They made it at the 10 month mark. Lone Star pre-production ceramic coating, very close to failure at this point, but it is still hanging in there just barely. 
IGL Easy Graphene rated as a one year coating. Still doing all right. Looks like it's gonna make the one year mark. And the last two over here, Chemical Guys Carbon Force, $150 DIY ceramic coating. It looks like it's still doing all right, albeit it's got some wear on it. And Ammo Reflex Pro, it's been acting like this since the 30 day mark. Some of you said that this is one, the product that sheets, and I don't believe that's the case. It, that's what's, that is what it's doing here but I believe that's supposed to be the hydrophobic one, not the hydrophilic. Let me know if you know much more about that. I'm, I'm not well versed on Larry's products. So there is your update, guys. Let me know. Make sure you check out the spreadsheets if you wanna learn more about these. And that's about all I got for you this month. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.